I mean, it'll be the first time me playing outside the state, so I'm gonna be looking forward to that. Um, the altitude, I'm not really worried about that. Um, from what I've been seeing, and a lot of our, lot of our coaches did a lot of research when it comes to altitude. We're playing in Denver, we weren't really that affected by it, so I feel like we should be fine. Derek, Philip Rivers throws to his running backs more than any other quarterback in the league. What kind of challenge does that present playing against a team that likes to utilize their running backs in the air and on the ground? I mean, it seems like linebackers and the dudes in the back end, as well as the guys up front, could be in tune with what we're doing with regards to rushing the passer, stopping the run, make sure everybody has their man on key when it comes to wide receivers and right on running backs. Everybody got to be in tune with what we're doing. What's the mood of the team like after just a tough loss at Tennessee? You feel like you have the game one and then it kind of gave away at the end. What are you guys trying to work on now? Is it just the little things or just something where you guys are just a mentality thing? Honestly, it is just about the little things. You got to really stay in tune with the details. Of course, after any type of loss, somebody, you're going to be somewhat frustrated about it. But after, after that, you really just got to pick up the pieces and keep moving. How important is it that this team is kind of facing those things early in the season before the playoffs so that you guys can hopefully enter that stage of the season uh, with all of that figured out? It gives us a chance to grow and learn and really just be a, that much better knowing that we went through those trials and tribulations. Derek, have you ever been to Mexico before? Not at all. It'll be my first time. How exciting are how excited are you to be able to play an international game like this? I mean, it, I, I'm really excited, but at the same time, I'm real cautious. You know, because of you know all the things that's been going on in the media right now, so I'm still excited, but you know, keep my wits with me. Obviously, Philip Rivers, is the guy that you guys have gone up against, but what makes him such a different quarterback than a lot of the other ones? Uh, one, he's been in the league for a while, so he's really he knows everything that's gonna be coming to him. He's seen pretty much everything. So with him, he's, what type of quarterback he is, you just gotta be really smart. He's getting sacked more often uh, this year. Does that get you a little amped up now? You know, you can kind of attack and feel free to get after. I mean, shoot, I need to get. My second sack one way or another. But um, I mean with him with his opposite line, they have some they had a lot of bumps and bruises with um Akuma being hurt, uh possibly coming back to play. Um on um, one of the pounds he's being on IR. So they I feel like, I feel like they're doing a good job of trying to keep women safe.